Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today we are going to talk about Curly Girl approved hair products that do not contain coconut oil. About 10 months ago, I started the Curly Girl method on my hair. And of course in that time, I've tried a bajillion different products and found things that work and things that do not work on my hair. During a video that I shared that was a list of some of my favorites that I use for my type of hair, I did end up listing quite a few products that had coconut oil in them. And in the comments, a lot of people told me that coconut oil just really does not work for their hair. It either is something they're allergic to, it pulls it down, or they just straight up don't like it. So today I'm gonna share a list of some coconut oil free products that are really great for curly girl hair. So I'm gonna kind of break this down into a few different categories like conditioners, leave-in conditioners, gels, etc. And then I'm gonna pick a few out from those categories that I've either tried myself and enjoyed or that I want to try and hope that I will enjoy. Um, down in the description box below, I'm gonna have a huge master list of just everything that I found that is Curly Girl approved but also does not have coconut oil in it. So check that out if you're kind of looking for something outside of what I mentioned here. All right, let's start with conditioners. The first one I'm gonna mention is in the Not Your Mother's Naturals hair care line. These are the ones that you'll see in the store and they've got the bright colored bottles and they're really inexpensive, which is what I appreciate about them. You're gonna get a bottle of conditioner for I think $9, but if you keep an eye out at Ulta, they have the full line there and they always do really good sales. I actually stocked up not too long ago when they were buy one, get one free, um, but typically you'll see them like buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one 80% off, um, just a bunch of different sales. So definitely keep an eye out. And the great thing is you can use your Ulta coupon on them. So within the Not Your Mother's Naturals line, the purple, the green, the pink, the yellow, the black, and the red um, sections of those, you'll know what I mean when you see them in the store, they all are coconut oil free. I personally have used the pink and the green in the conditioners. The pink is a curly line, so it's too heavy for my hair type. I've got fine, um, but thick. So I have a lot of hair, but it's really fine and it's wavy. So I don't do well with stuff that's really heavy. I have used the green conditioner in this line, which smells so good. So the next one I am looking forward to trying and this one I've heard so many good things. I'm in a few groups on Facebook where we talk about curly hair. It's called Curly Girl Method Support. But this one comes up so much. It's the Sally Beauty GVP Conditioning Balm. Um, GVP I think stands for like good value product or something. Um, basically it's the Sally Beauty knockoff line but the conditioning balm people swear by. It's another one that's really inexpensive and coconut oil free. One of the last ones I'm going to talk about today is the Yes2 line. Um, yes2 is a brand you'll see in like Target or Walmart but it's in the natural section and they've got the cutest packaging. There's like a little girl on the front that's like washing her face or washing her hair or wearing a face mask. They're super cute and and they're really affordable and I absolutely love most of the lines. Apparently the Yes2 Carrots for hair is supposed to be really really good um, but everything in that line that is for your hair and for curly hair is all free of coconut oil. Alright so now we've talked about conditioners let's talk about leave-in conditioners. The Kinky Curly line of hair care product is one that we're going to probably talk about a lot. A lot of them are free of coconut oil and are really highly regarded in the curly girl community. Um, the leave-in that I'm going to mention here is actually, I believe it's just a traditional conditioner, but it's light. So it's light enough that it can be a leave-in and it's called Not Today. Um, so it's K-N-O-T, gets the knots out of your hair. Um, you can get this, I think. I know on their website, I know, um, I think they also have it at Sally Beauty and I know they have it at Ulta too. Um, so it's another one that's relatively inexpensive and it does go on sale quite a bit. The next leave-in I'm gonna talk about is the Curls Creme Brulee. This one is free of coconut oil and it's another one that smells absolutely heavenly. It smells like creme brulee. <laughs> For me, I have used it in the past. It does go a little bit heavy for my hair, so I do use it pretty sparingly. It does feel very nice and I do like it quite a bit. Next, we're gonna move on to deep conditioners or like conditioning masks. This would be something you use once or twice a month just when your hair needs a little bit extra moisture. There's actually only two I was able to find on this list. And one's, you know, an affordable brand and one's just a little bit more expensive. The first one is another Not Your Mother's Naturals. It's the green one, so it's the, I think it's matcha 
green tea and apple is the name of the line it's in a little tub it's you know I'll, there'll be pictures up here of everything and it's the green one also smells really really nice and then the next one is one I actually really want to try I've tried a few other things from this brand and I've really really liked them it's the Mayel Babasu mint I think that's it for the title let me look Yes, the Mayel Babasu Mint um, Deep Conditioner. Uh, Babasu is a natural tree oil that is so good for skincare and hair care. Um, and mint is really great for your scalp and keeping it really refreshed. So I'm really excited to try this one. And finally, let's tackle the hold. I have a massive list of gels that I am just gonna run through and just kind of pick out my few favorites. And of course, everything's gonna be listed down below. So if you're going really inexpensive, all of the LA Lux gels contain no coconut oil. Some of them do have alcohol in them, so make sure you read the label if that's a concern for you and for drying out your hair. But when I say inexpensive, like a huge bottle is two bucks. Another one that I really enjoy is the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Gel. It's another really, um, an expensive and affordable one sometimes they come in two packs at Target for like five dollars for two of them and it's another one that smells really good the hold isn't quite as strong as like an Aussie instant freeze or the LA looks gel but it's still a really great gel so next is the kinky curly curling custard say that three times fast it's part of the kinky curly line so it's a one of the more affordable lines like I said available at Sally or I pretty sure Alta has it but the thing I don't love about it is it comes in a tub so I've had actually the gel I'm using today which is not my favorite it makes my hair look real crunchy um, comes in a tub which is really hard to navigate when you're in the shower I am all about doing my hair in the shower so I have so I don't love having to like twist off a cap, scoop out, put the cap back on. It's just not a great thing to do while you're naked and dripping wet and probably gonna drop half of it in the shower anyway. The next one is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Jelly. It is a very, very, very light hold. Um, it's a little bit, it's kind of in the mid price. It's like $15 for the bottle of it. Um, it's blue but it is a really light hold so it can be used which is kind of nice um, in a two-part gel system where you put the lighter hold gel on when your hair is sopping wet and then after you get out and plop your hair you use a lot stronger hold gel um, and then apparently you get just really crazy good definition so that could be an option and another really great one that's also super affordable is the Aussie Instant Freeze Gel. This will get you a super hard cast. Um, it's not the greatest scent in the world, but a lot of people really like it. And like I said, it's super cheap. So we've reached the halfway point of the gels list. <laughs> Next is the Jesse Curl Spiralicious. This is a really great brand. I'm, they're just, they're all about curly hair. Spiralicious is a really nice gel. The next one I have heard amazing things about and have not tried myself, but definitely want to. It's called Orange Marmalade. How fun is that? So it must smell amazing, and I guess it gives you a really good cast without making your hair feel too crunchy, um, but looks really good. So I'm gonna order that one this week. All right, you guys, so there is a list to help you get started on your journey to find coconut oil-free products for your curly girl hair. And with that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you do, I will love you forever. Have a super great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.